Ooh, what is up you guys and welcome to what will be my last Wi-Fi battle upload and yeah it's kind of rough um, this is definitely an end of an era and we're going in RU before of course Ultra Sun and Moon don't worry though there will be a video tomorrow tackling something else it won't be Wi-Fi battle related however so with that said yes we're going against Andrew and um, his team here is as follows Blastoise uh, Dalmise, Jolteon, Mishomp, Espeon, and Zelassel. Uh, I myself is using a Scarfed God of War, Assault with Dalmise, uh, Rhyperior, of course, Destroy Asset, Mantine with Defog, and beware with. Um... <coughs> it's got something stuck in my throat. Nice. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I won't take that away. Um, beware with the leftover set substitute and comma OB and specs. Um, pretty much the rundown here is I really want to capitalize on a team that wasn't too heavy towards the meta yet could deal with it. And I realized once the game was set here that having two fighting types is not a good thing and definitely not if they're the, of the slower kind. Because this means that Espeon is going to have a feast on me. There is going to be a lot of issues involved with that. And uh, I felt that my best lead here was either Rhyperior or Mantine. But predicting that he doesn't have any hazard uh, removal on his own outside of Espeon, uh, I'm going to lead off with what I presume was Mantine and then basically go from there. So yeah, with all this said, let's, of course, as always, go into the match. I also clearly lied. I started with Gardevoir. I'm just going to have that said. I had this battle for two weeks ago, so I felt that you know, I am a bit behind. Uh, now, he starts with the Blastoise, and this is not the worst matchup, but the one thing I really want to stress out here is that I was fearing Toxic. I was fearing his damage output could be up there. So I decided to go to Solgo, basically because I can roost and kind of avoid uh, the worst situation. As he goes for Scald, and that's clearly a good thing because that means that we can retaliate uh, with uh, actually go for a Toxic on our own. As he'll score a nice, nice freeze here. You know, clearly, you know, I can't scald, so it's okay to some extent. I will fall out, but the worst situation is if I go for a scald and he gets burned because that means I don't have a proper seal damage towards him. As it goes for Dark Pulse, this shows me that he's actually offensive. As we do connect the scald here and uh, we do get the burn, and that is awful. And it's awful because it means the bulk of Blastoise basically means that I need to win this matchup by Scald roosting towards it. And this is a clear matchup that is basically done. Uh, while I can't do necessarily any damage to towards me, I can neither do the same. So, Burn was definitely the worst scenario because Toxic would have been so nice to will that Pokemon down. As he will go to Delmi's, uh, as I go for Roost on my own, basically to scout the damage. Now, Delmi's here is... Um, it's a threat. It's a threat and a half, as one says, since Power Whip can do a decent amount of damage. I'll actually go for a Toxic here just to try to whittle it down. I thought it was my best superior play here, as the Power Whip will sure to actually do a good chunk of damage. That's also an offensive Delmise. 130 base attack, yeah, it's going to sting, but this is more than just that. And I can't roost here because if it connects another power whip, you know, that will be a clear KO. It's going to lose my flying typing. So I'm going to go to Bernadictus. Of course, the combo, the specs combo. We'll see how long that set actually will be viable now with the mute tutor now available. The combo is going to be a lot, lot different in this generation, I'm sure. As um, power whip does a fair amount of damage. But I feel that, you know, I am in range where flying and scale should be able to take it out. And should is the word, because uh, it's it's not even close. Uh, so it's, it's more of a Zolt Vest variant. It'll go for an Anchor Shot, and that will prove to be enough to KO. And I yeah, will actually lose combo right there and there. So probably not my strongest play. I should definitely go with Flame Thrower. I just was fearing the Blasters to come in and kind of wall me out. So it's a double down, and I'm going to go to Lissa. I felt that was my strongest switch in. As it goes to Jolteon, are we going to see the Rickly? that it's a Volt Absorb variant, so we should be able to do good amount of damage towards this Pokemon, as I'll decide to go to myself into a Moonblast, and it does damage. I mean, that's a 2-hit KO, and we do get a special attack drop, which is awesome. He'll go for a Shadow Ball on his own, and uh, yeah, had, I mean, had it not been the lost his special attack, that would have pushed me even further down, clearly at around 50 HP. So, um, predicting his switch out here to something that can soak, uh, a Moonblast being Salasil, I'll actually go to my Desultroya, my Rhyperior, 
because there is no way this pack can hit in power grass and we do get that prediction right and i'll just go for a very safe stealth rock here predicting him to switch into something else such as blastoise and not the espion since it just dies uh, I felt like that was too big of a risk as we get that play fairly right, but at the same time, yeah, that's a Jolteon. That's far from ideal. So I'm going to bring Socrates, which basically I was predicting Volt Switch. Um, either that or some kind of hidden power. Uh, but you no, know, he goes for Shadow Ball. And, and I do not approve of that. And I, I really like here is gonna, definitely going to come another Shadow Ball. So I'm going to bring my Beware. Since he's immune to it, Troy should be able to take that hit. And then predict him to go for a Volt Switch after with a Thunderbolt so I can switch into my Guard of War. Since it doesn't have um, hazards on his own, I can do as many switches as it's required. As you guys can see, he follows this pattern, uh, which is really good for me because that means that Guard of War gets in a few extra HP towards it. And I do get to go for a safe move. Now, Celestial is clearly his best play here. So I felt that Psyshock was our strongest play in case he wanted to try to soak a Moonblast. Uh, he doesn't do that, he sacks the Jolteon, and that also means that Espeon come in. And Espeon is issues, it is definitely issue towards me. Because I need something that can deal with that Pokemon, I don't necessarily have that. Uh, so Troy is my sack play, so we're just gonna sack Troy. Poor, poor, poor bastard. Uh, as we do barely survive that, which is incredible, but at this time it doesn't necessarily matter. One thing that is a bit unfortunate here is that I didn't go for a Psyshock. Uh, had I just locked myself with Psyshock, I would have been able to KO this Pokemon, and Dazzling Gleam would not even be close of a KO. So, that was really rough. Definitely feel he got the better play out of this. As I'm going to switch into Lissa yet again, and of course, Moonblast is now, of course, my ideal play, and yeah, I should probably, most certainly, go for Psyshock here. Mainly because, Salazzle is, of course, his switch in, and I definitely knew that. So, it is unfortunate, uh, Moonblast actually being 4 times resisted here, it does a fair amount, I, guess, I really gotta say, 4 times resisted into a Pokemon that is fairly frail, yeah, that, that's damage anyway, uh, as I'm gonna bring Socrates, you just sack it. There is really no point of actually looking forward to staying alive. As it goes for Sludge Wave, surprisingly, Socrates has a lot of power with him and, and he will fight back, but sadly at this point it is all over and he's gonna fall, of course, through the Flamethrower. Uh, now, my base, best, base, best switch in here is most certainly to bring in Mantine or Desotroya, but since Mantine is whittled down, Desotroya is going to be my choice, as he actually packs the Toxic, and that's really, really cool, as I'll go for um, uh, ICMC Ice Punch, yeah, I felt there's no way in hell I'm going to use that move anyway towards the matchup that is left, so I might as well do a bit of, of the show, basically, and bring the monster that is the sub zero slammer because this Troya needs all the love it gets and this is pretty much where it gets at basically this set is made for Gligar which dominates it here but since there is no Pokemon to be found in this battle I felt it might as well use it um, now here comes a very tough play um, he's gonna bring all might which is the Machamp I do not want to take uh, a close comment here I do not want to see whether or not it's showcased to be Guts or uh, the, um, what do you call it? Um, oh, I can't remember the name. Um, anyway, I go for Earthquake. No Guard or Guts. So I went for an Earthquake, and here's where it's tough. Um, I definitely believe that going for a Skull would be a very, very, very risky play. So I felt that Ice Beam is going to be his strongest move. There is no way in hell he's going to go for a Skull. So I decided to stay in, because I definitely disagree with the play he made here. Which is going for Skull. And that's gonna KO, of course it's KOs! And that is tremendously bad in so many ways. And, um, yeah, we're really trying to get at it is, is that, yeah, I mean, he went for a skull, and that is really, really, really tough. Well, it does give him a free switch into Solgo, my Mantine, and we have a complete lockdown there. Uh, he goes for a fair rapid spin here. It, at this point, it doesn't matter. Uh, but had I actually been able to talk to this Pokemon, that Earthquake would have pushed him in a KO range, or I would have been safely switching around had I connected that Toxic, which I didn't. Uh, so we are now in a stalemate where I will win the matchup. No way in hell I will lose it, but what the hell can I do, right? I mean, there is where we're at, and uh, I, the only attacking move I have is actually Scald. So it, it looks really, really, really boring, because my Skull damage is very, very low. And the burn damage will not be able to take him out, of course. So we are in a situation where I skull till he dies. But I want to be in a good round of HP towards the Pokemon he brings in. 
I mean, ideally now, his Machamp is not, of course, uh, Assault Vest. That would be the, probably the ideal. Uh, but also at the same time, I am have reasons to believe the reason he switched that out is because it is Snowguard. We didn't see anything like Guts. Uh, while it does activate the turns before, uh, he would have switched in Skull or Guts set versus a Skulled variant of Mantine. So I'm pretty sure this Pokemon is Assault Vest as of this now, which means... It's probably no guard, and a skull to burn would have ruined this Pokemon had I got it. I don't get it the first time, as it goes for a Stone Edge, and that's clearly going to put us in range. And I felt that his next move here should be, and I really can't stress this enough, it should be a Close Combat or Bullet Punch. I went for a Roost here, seeing that it would be the ideal play. Uh, I definitely was scared of whether or not it could survive, of course, uh, a Bullet Punch. But it actually keeps going for Stone Edge. And we could potentially stall the stone edges out if we want to decide, you know, I have more roots and he has stone edge. But that's going to become quite of a stalemate. So with that in mind, I'd rather back on the burn. We don't get the burn and that is super unfortunate. That will mean the Solgo goes down. So we are basing a situation here where whether or not Gardevoir has enough power to KO the Machamp. We know already it doesn't have bullet punch because it would have gone for it on the worst situation there. So we trace the Nogard. And I am forced, since we know already that it is Assault Vest, I am forced to go for a Psy Shock, hoping that a Shadow Ball from a Life Orb Espeon is not enough to KO. And yeah, I mean, I, I feel that that was the best play of the might to, of course, make. But in this situation, Psy Shock is most certainly to its KO. Moonblast would have been a clear KO. But unfortunately, Shadow Ball is enough to KO the Guard War. So that is a very, very good game, Andrew, and my god was it exciting to the very end, and we barely lost this one, and I'm fairly, really glad it was so tight between us. That sounded really sexual, didn't it? But yeah, overall, I guess if we go to pinpoint like a misplay from my side, it could probably be versus the Masham from the beginning versus Mantine. Uh, I think if I just went for Toxic over Scald, I would have been able to Roost stall that Machamp out. And that would have actually made the game better towards me. Uh, I feel I failed to do so, and uh, I didn't realize. Uh, I was really hoping it was Guts or anything else like that, and I don't know what I was hoping. I didn't want to activate anything on it. Um, and I definitely didn't expect to survive a Stone Edge either, to be completely honest. But yeah, I mean, there are a lot of issues towards that matchup, and had I went for Moonblast, I would have been able to KO, because I was fairly sure that was a Salt Vest. That said, though, um, I felt the game was really exciting. Had I got the Toxic on, of course, Blastoise and Gurley, I would have been able to KO with Earthquake. Blastoise would not have been a switch in there, so my uh, Rhyperior would not have been pushed in hard, uh, harm's way that early. Uh, but, you know, that's the game we play, right? I mean, uh, early early freezes are always nice, and you're getting the Skull burn. Yeah, thank you for that. That was exactly what I needed. Uh, but, yeah, that said, though, I really enjoyed this game, and I hope Andrew did that, too. And for everybody else, of course, been watching, thank you for doing just so, of course. Um, definitely, you know, stick around for, um, well, the future. I mean, Ultra Sun and Moon is coming out in just a few days. Really looking forward to that, and I hope you guys are too. Definitely looking forward to upload battles on there, if anything. So as always, guys, thank you for, of course, watching, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with a different video. Till then, of course, take care.